Hey guys, how's it going? I've been seeing a lot of comments lately about how to reduce anxiety in your day. And it's real, right? The anxiety is real. A lot of people have lost their jobs. Schedules completely changed. Maybe you're working from home now. And that's just a whole other kettle of fish, right? A new landscape to explore. So number one, if you haven't done so already, start a meditation practice. This is probably the, one of the best things you can do for yourself. It can be anywhere from five to 30 minutes. I have a morning practice for myself. I do about 30 minutes of seated meditation and it is just the best thing I've ever done for myself. It creates that little pause in your day where you can just gain perspective, have just some quiet time for yourself to let new ideas emerge, right? Um, and they don't necessarily merge out of the meditation and you'll, you'll notice over time that it, it just it just makes your life a whole lot better. I can't recommend it more. Number two, it is maybe time to reconnect with a spiritual practice of some kind, whatever that means for you, right? Um, I think it's such an important part of our lives that often does get neglected or left to the, the side because it just doesn't seem like a priority for whatever reason in our modern go, go, go lives. We, we don't think of it as being something maybe productive, but it really is. Um, number three, trust yourself. You have the answers. You, you, know, you know deep down inside that everything is gonna be okay, or at least you can do if you give yourself the time and the trust to believe that. So do, you know what's good for you. Uh, number four, do things that nourish you. Do the things that give you nourishment. I don't just mean food, I mean movement, I mean being in nature. So if you can, do movement in nature. Get outside, maybe you have a garden or maybe you can go to your local park uh, if you're trying to social distance yourself. Two meters, right, it's fine. It's outdoors, there should be enough space for that. Watch a sunset, watch a sunrise, see some wildlife, some birds. I went this morning for a beautiful walk and there was just so many nice little birds swimming in this pond and it just gave me a sense of just peace and, and space and refreshing. It was refreshing. Um, number five, try not to overanalyze things, right? It's not a time for overanalyzing. It's time just to reset, right? We have this space that we've been given. It's almost like enforced, um, enforced holiday for those of us who have no work, um, enforced time with at home to just reassess and reevaluate everything. It's an opportunity. We need to, you know, take hold of it. You never know when we're just going to go back to normal or whatever normal is. Um, so, you know, use this time, use it as an opportunity. Don't let four weeks or whatever amount of time go by and you look back and you're like, wow, I had that time to do stuff and, and I, didn't, I didn't take advantage. I wish I did. Um, movement, you need to get doing some movement every day. It's not like a 30 minutes a week or whatever the recommended 30 minutes five, four times a day or four times a week. It's it's every day, just do some kind of movement. There's so many platforms out there, you know, play, play with your housemates or your kids or whatever, you know, have a pillow fight, <laughs> do something, do something fun, do something that makes you giggle because laughter is the best medicine. Um, number seven, I think, go to bed early. Go, go to bed before you're tired, get that nighttime routine this is your opportunity to do it right you don't have all these social engagements where you have to be out one or two nights a week or whatever amount of time a week you know you have that time to dim the lights in your room get a candle going you know set uh, light some incense or have the um, have your essential oils going whatever you, you need just to create that beautiful calming environment that's going to get you set up to to go to bed turn off your gadgets get them out of your out of your room they don't need to be there unless you have unless you're a doctor on call or you have emergencies or family members you know maybe the maybe the phone can just live outside your room um, at night time um, and I guess my last point would be just to avoid getting sucked into too much of 
what's going on, right? You don't need to be constantly connected to the updates. You don't need to be constantly watching the news. You don't need to be constantly on social media reading which, what can sometimes be fake news, right? Be discerning, ask questions. Try to avoid sharing things that you're not too sure if are true or not, right? There's no need for that. We don't need to spread more fake news, right? So that's all for me for today. I hope you find that helpful. Um, feel free to like, share if you do, and um, subscribe as well. It's always good. <laughs> and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Have a beautiful, safe, and healthy day. Be well.